Many Americans are currently dealing with student loan debt. Borrowers in the state of Maine have racked up over $6 billion worth of debt, according to Y Refi managing partner Mary Jo Terry. Currently, the student loan pause has put a freeze on payments until August 31st, but Terry says this has given scammers an opportunity to victimize borrowers. What we've seen is an uptick in scams requesting information associated with your federal loans that may not be in repayment. Your loans aren't in repayment. Some people have chosen to go into repayment. And so what you're seeing is people are asking for your personal information. Why Refi is a national specialty consumer finance lender focusing explicitly on distressed private student loans, according to the company's website. Terry says scammers will call and send emails impersonating lenders to try and fish for sensitive information, such as bank account numbers and credit card information. We're seeing a lot of things around, let's get your loans charged off, let's get your loans forgiven, give us $3.99, give us your credit card number. And last but not least, one of the oldest scams that's been going on forever is um, pay me and I'll help you complete federal forms. Terry says these federal student loan forms should never cost money to fill out. She says scammers prey on the fact that many borrowers aren't fully up to date with how much they owe or who their loan servicer is. According to Terry, many loan servicers have changed within the last two and a half years. And although scammers are becoming more clever, there are precautions borrowers can take, such as verifying their information on studentaid.gov. Just take five or ten minutes and be a little proactive. That way, if somebody reaches out to you and starts to ask for information, oh, no, I, I've already taken care of that. There's nothing else that needs to be done. And, and you're discontinuing this process immediately. Terry suggests contacting your financial institution, credit bureau, and local law enforcement if you believe you've been victimized by a scam. I'm Dylan Holloway reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22.